Uh, how did you expect the difference uh, in between the major decoration of So I was going to tell you that this is the Bima, the Bima, the famous uh, uh, Pontium. We were all gathered. This is the Bima. the baths, uh, Roman baths. Maybe uh, this picture is gonna help you.
Kentucky Gate. Mm. Mm. So this is the ancient city of Corinth, and we've been on a journey of uh, seeing where the different places that Paul actually encountered people. This would be where the church at Corinth was. And uh, you know, Paul spoke to the church there and wrote the book of Corinthians. He said things like, um, do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like a man running aimlessly. I do not fight like a man beating the air. No, I beat my body and I make it my slave so that after I preach to others, I myself will not be disqualified. In 1 Corinthians 13, he said, If I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries. And if I have a faith that can move mountains but have not love, I'm nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and I surrender my body to the flames but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It's not proud. It's not rude. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects. It always trusts. It always hopes. It always perseveres. Love never fails. Where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there's knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see, but a poor reflection is in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, and I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. 
but the greatest of these is love. Paul would have said a lot of those kind of things as he's on the Bema. This was one of the most important places where people, um, where he certainly would have advocated for Christ and gave testimony for Christ. I know that he talked about the resurrection a lot in 1 Corinthians 15, where he would have said, I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will all be changed. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. Then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where of death is your victory? Where of death is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm and let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. So it's been an awesome thing to be able to, to stand in Corinth and to be in this city that Paul was at least a year and a half. We know that he encountered and wrote to this church often. And what's really neat to me is that God this Holy Spirit's interacted with me so many times through these verses in the book of First and Second Corinthians. So it's uh, it's been a blessing to be able to just be in the spot.